On the other side of the aisle is an overt, low-life, street socialist, communist, a uh, terrible loser professional agitator like Bernie Sanders, a guy who doesn't even believe he's getting this kind of attention. A left-wing fanatic that if you ever saw him, you'd say, who is that man? Call the police. He looks like a vagrant. Now, all of a sudden, he was like the college professor that you had who for three hours harangued you about America and then made you feel guilty about white privilege. That's Bernie Sanders. It's unbelievable to me. A communist from his dirty toenails to his, to his dandruff. His dandruff flakes are socialistic. That's how bad this guy is. Now, listen, if you have a choice between a socialist communist like Bernie Sanders and a capitalist like Donald Trump, and that's the general election, it's an 85-15, maybe a 90-10, period. So let's listen to uh, 06. Here is Socialism 101 in clip 6 from Bernie Sanders. If we are going to transform America... Here we go if again. If we are going to have a government that represents working families uh, and not working large family. campaign donors, Lord, we need Lord. a political revolution in this country. You've been trying to have a revolution since you, since you were born in Brooklyn, a revolution. Another one, a soapbox revolutionary, Bernie Sanders. Again, if we're going to transform America. Hey, Bernie, we should transform America by making sure that low lowlifes like you can never get where you want to go. Now listen to Seven. As he makes believe he's going to attack the rich, Bernie Sanders, commie in Seven. We need millions of people to stand up and make it clear oh. to the billionaire class they oh, cannot please. have it all. Oh, come on. They are going to start paying their fair share of taxes. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, listen to his voice. He sounds like oh, uh, Woody Allen on Laughing Gas. If Woody Allen came out of a dental office and he was jacked up on laughing gas, he'd sound like Bernie Sanders. We need millions of people to stand up and make it clear to the billionaire class. They cannot have it all. They're going to start paying their fair share of taxes. Now, does that inspire you? Is that a man who you would follow into a, a hail of machine gun bullets? I don't think so. This guy is an embarrassment. So, all right, give me a break here. I mean, is that what you want to represent America against China and Putin? That's who you see standing up to Putin? Now, by the way, let's talk about foreign policy. I think Trump can out-negotiate Putin. I think Trump can out-negotiate the Chinese. I think Trump knows how to do business. And America, at the end of the day, is an enterprise very much like a business, and we need someone who knows how to run a business in plain English. Or the communist Bernie Sanders, the loser bum. That loser bum, every time I see a, a broken car riding by with a, a distorted face on it, says, go Bernie. I know what they are. A bum. A near do well into his late 30s who didn't learn a dime. A bum. Lived off his family till he was in his 30s, failed at everything. An angry, radical spritzer, an agitator who never accomplished anything. He did nothing. Did you know he took his first bride, that Bernie did, to live in a maple sugar shack with a dirt floor, and she she ditched him? She didn't want to. She didn't want to use a toilet in the woods. See, then he's penniless, Bernie Sanders. He goes on unemployment. Okay, that happens. Then he has a child out of wedlock. Well, that's the norm in America today. That makes him even a better candidate to those with broken cars. Then he tries carpentry, but he couldn't even hammer a nail correctly. A friend told Political Magazine he was a terrible carpenter. His carpentry was not going to support him and didn't. Then he tried his hand free freelancing for leftist rags, writing about masturbation and rape, I'm quoting now, for $50 a story. So he was a bum. But they said the only thing that Bernie Sanders was good at was talking and talking and talking about socialism and how the rich were ripping everybody else off. All he talked about was the redistribution of wealth. And the rest is history. This worthless loser bum is now being taken seriously by all the worthless loser bums in America. 